please remain standing for the Lutang Hilira. according to your business attire and of course your personality as you walk here and present yourself and also um, with a question and answer as you know and Miss Jusol will be explaining more on that so we hope that you just take it easy guys relax and do your best and let's just have fun okay thank you so much thank you, you Miss Aisha and now at this time let's present to you the panel of judges Okay, our first judge, she is Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Instructor of ATHE Diploma, Management for Health and Social Care. Let's all welcome Ms. Christian Monfont. <laughs> our second judge, of course, our very own Academic Manager of ICSA, Ms. Aisha Amir. Our third judge, she, he is also a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Instructor of ATHE Diploma, Management for Health and Social Care. Let's all welcome Mr. Michael Escobar. Okay, so at this moment, let me read to you the mechanics of uh, business attire category. Okay, the criteria for judging. Fitting 50%, take note, poise and pairing 50%, a total of 100%. Are you ready? Okay, let's have our presentation of candidates with our business attire. We will have first the women category. Ladies, please come forward. Candidate number one. Okay. Candidate number two. Candidate number three.
candidate number four. Candidate number five. Well, let us move on to number six. Okay. Number seven. Number eight. Let's have number nine. Please come forward. And candidate number ten. And the last, but at the least, candidate number 11. Okay, please, ladies, can you please go that side? So you will be judged according to how you're going to pose with your business attire. All right? So now, please introduce yourself. So may we call on candidate number one. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Cyrus Ekenidato, 22 years old from Manila, Philippines, and I am this uh, this year's Saturday Batch Office Management Class representative. And I believe that says the journey to a thousand miles begins with the letter J. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What I really do believe is the journey, wherever it may lead you, will take all of you. So risk it all anyway, because it will all be. Thank you. Okay, let's proceed to candidate number three. Hello, good, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Wendell Grace G. Berry, 32 years of age, from Sambuanga, Sibugay, taking up Bachelor of Arts and Psychology. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, may we call on candidate number four to please come forward. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Miss Catherine Cuesto, taking up the course of Computer Supervisor. I'm 29 years old. Thank you. Candidate number four. May we call on our candidate number five? Okay, let's proceed to candidate number six. Hello, good afternoon, ladies and everyone. My name is Aisha Manesi, representing Caregiver Course, Diploma in Management, Social Media. Thank you, candidate number six. And now let's have candidate number seven. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rachel Castanares from Eriotos, Philippines. I'm taking course of Office Management. I believe that saying that our education Leads us to our success. Thank you, candidate number seven. Now we will call on candidate number eight. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Rita Santiago Bucalon, representing the Cup College Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration, major in management. And I believe that if you have dreams and goals in your life, you need to work to achieve it. Thank you. Now let's have candidate number 10. Hello everyone, my name is Jana Halantoni and I represent Diploma in Management and Social Care. So I believe in saying that do not be afraid to take a rest because it will lead you to a brighter future. Thank you. Thank you candidate number 10. And the last but not the least, our candidate. Number 11. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Joy Vinas from Bicol Camarines, Philippines, and I am taking course concept. And I believe that if you just live with confidence, it's good to be that to be perfect. Okay, thank you, ladies. Those are our uh, ladies' category for business attire. And now, are you ready? Let's move on to the next category, our men category. Our gentleman category. Okay, please come forward. May we call on candidate number one. Okay, candidate number two. 
Candidate number three. Success, I can be your partner for life. Heights, and I am taking Bachelor of Arts and Information Technology, and I believe try and try and try and succeed. Philippines. I um I do believe that uh, investment in uh, knowledge has a best in returns. Proudly representing the caregiver first. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to investment in knowledge has the best in return? Okay. Wow. Okay. May we call a candidate number four? Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to present, my name is Charlie Lagua Jr. came from South Cotabato, Coronado City. I'm 33 years old of age, taking up caregiver. Thank you, candidate number four, okay? The last but not the least, our candidate number five, Maginoong number five. Thank you, ma'am. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Abdurrahman Abin, 31 years old, and, and I'm also a registered nurse, a licensed teacher, and a master's holder. And I believe it's not about the title, it's about the pressure, uh, profession that you love. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. So those are our men category for business attire. All right, so we are already done with our presentation of candidates for their business attire. Okay? So at this moment, yes, now at this moment, let's have the elimination round. Okay. Let's have the Q&A portion. Okay, before we will proceed to the elimination round, let's have first the presentation of the minor awards for Mr. and Miss Popularity and Business Attire. Okay, judges, are we ready for the minor awards? Can we have your results, please? Okay, medyo nanginapan ang mga judges natin. 
talagang ano eh, very tough yung ano, competition. Lahat mga ganda at magagawa po. Okay, now let's have the minor awards for Mr. and Ms. Popularity and Business Attire. So who will be? Any guesses? Okay. So for the women category. Facebook. Wow, maraming fans sa Facebook, sa social media. Okay. Guess who? Any guesses? Maganda, sexy. Oo, paakit-akit. Okay, our Miss Popular 2019 goes to Miss She is taking up the course of BSBA management. Ladies and gentlemen, our Miss Papua 2019 is Miss Rita Botalo. Let's hear her. To present the award, we call her Miss Aisha. Uh, okay. To present the award, we call on Miss Christian, please. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Miss Rita. Okay, you deserve it. Yes. Si Katya sa Facebook. Oh, oh, running fans. Oh, oh, ilang likes ba yun? Million? Okay. Oh, okay. okay, congratulations once again, Miss Rita. And for the uh, male category. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the men category, uh, he's taking a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Wow, Psychology. Okay, any guess? Guess who? Sino si Kat sa Facebook? Okay, our Mr. Popular 2019 goes to Mr. Abo Rahman Abi. Let's give him our one of the Okay, to present the award, we will call on Mr. Michael Escobar.
Okay, once again, congratulations. Okay, now we'll proceed to the male category. Oh, what a price it is. Okay, for the male category. You may want to be fine, see Okay, Mr. Popularity and Business Attire goes to candidate number three or four. Three. One. And then 
and everything. Uh, we rely always on our smartphones. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Can I date now with me? How about you people? Do you believe? No. Yes, right? We are now in the modern age, so everybody are using smartphones. Okay, let's proceed to candidate number four, Miss Catherine Composto. Okay, can you please pick up one question? question is, what do you think is the biggest challenge that technology presents? I repeat, what do you think is the biggest challenge that technology presents? Thank you, Mom. Um, I think the biggest challenge that technology presents is that the information security, which includes the uh, the data security and the management and and also the the evolution of the social media. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, candidate number four. Now, let me call on candidate number five. Okay, candidate number six, Miss Aisha Manise. Okay, pick up one question. Wow, I like your the color of your nails. <laughs> okay, your question is, why do you think is computer literacy is important nowadays? I repeat, why do you think is computer literacy is important nowadays? Thank you. Um, I think it's important literacy is important nowadays. It's because it helps to us uh, for a living every day. And this technology is innovation. Innovation for ev every day for help to help. It helps uh, more easier our work. And Always remember, technology is scientific by a human, and human humanity is limitless. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Number six. Now let's proceed to candidate number seven, Miss Rochelle Castanales. Pick up one question. Okay. Are you okay? Are, are you okay there, guys? Yes. Okay, your question is, do you think that artificial intelligence may one day rule the world? Why or why not? I repeat, do you think that artificial intelligence, AI, may one day rule the world? Why or why not? Thank you for that wonderful question. Well, the expert says that the rise of intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence, will rule over the people. But I think if we have concern about the uh, human nature, it will lead us to know the importance of how to be a human kind, to be productive and exercise in real life. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, candidate number seven. Let's give that well, one more applause. Our audience today is very quiet. Okay. Now let's move on to candidate number eight, Miss Rita Butalon. Our Miss Popularity. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Can I have the ball first? Okay. Can you please stay in front? Take it easy, okay? Now your question is, okay? Is humanity being threatened by technology? 
technology, why? I repeat, is it being threatened by technology, why? Thank you for those questions. I believe that the technology don't threaten the humanity, but it is the humanity who threaten the technology because as human, we tend to rely everything on the technology without thinking what is, what will be the uh, result and what will be the situations. We always think that technology always make our life easier without uh, without analyzing that sometimes technology also give us some disadvantages. As what Miss Katrina said before, everything is good but in moderation. Therefore. We use the technology in our advantage, not the technology will use us in our disadvantage. Thank you. Congratulations, from Miss Universe. As for Miss Catriona, great. Okay. Okay, now let's move on to candidate number nine, Miss Tusha B. Alvarez. Okay, number ten, Miss Jana Jalandoni. Can you please pick up one question? Okay. Okay, so your question. How powerful do you think is the internet? I repeat, how powerful do you think is the internet? For me, the internet is very much powerful because it gives the extremely impact to uh, to um, society. More on um, that we are using right now is more on the technology, and without those technology, we cannot do our task um, effectively and efficiently. So um, this is very very more important nowadays, and it gives a good advantage for us to make our. Uh, um, our task more easier and uh, it gives more uh, or it, it increased productivity and uh, number two it gives more uh, or it saves a lot of time and money and number three it also um, gives efficient and um, convenient time for us and that's all thank you okay. thank you candidate number 10 and let's move on to the last but not the least candidate Candidate number 11, Ms. Joy Vinyas. Okay, pick up one question. Okay. Please move that side. In fact, okay. Your question is, what is the biggest contribution of technology in education? I repeat, what is the biggest contribution of technology in education? Thank you for the question. Uh, I think the biggest contribution of computer in education is still like, they make more easy, like, we can, we can use the computers to visual OG learning aids to, to do training for the students and we can do maintaining record of students or to track the to track the the grades of the school the student and in short computer can make more easier when it comes in doing some project assignments or doing some file or documents in terms of education and it will more be productivity because computer can can do the thing possible. Thank you. Okay, thank you, candidate number eleven. So we're already done with the women category. Let's proceed to the men category. Okay, candidate number one, Mr. Alex Karandam. Okay, pick up one question. Okay. Your question is, do the 
technological advances result in higher unemployment? I repeat, do technological advances result in higher unemployment? Ganito kasi yan. <laughs> well, I believe indeed technology will result in a higher unemployment. As you can see before, we're doing a lot of things, a lot of works in our on our own. For example, when we are planting seeds, we are doing it by our own. You see our farmers, they spend in uh, their farms for almost eight hours a day. Now, we have these machine, machines. So because of these machines, the people will not be able to do that work. So the machines will do the work for them. Especially nowadays, we have artificial intelligence, we have robots. Uh, they said that in the next few years, probably 3,000 3, years or 2050, uh, most of the jobs will be obsolete. So probably humans will, human activities also and works will be obsolete because robots will do that for them. So I think we need to do it in a moderation. So we have uh, also power within the machine, not the machine have power over us. Thank you. Thank you, Kari Number One, for that very detailed explanation. Okay, now let's proceed to candidate number two, Mr. Simon Pentaden Jr. Let, let's hold the ball. Can you please stay in front? Your question is. is faster but do you think that it is more meaningful as before why i repeat today communication is faster but do you think that it is more meaningful as before why no for me it's uh, the, the same nowadays because um communication is that it's always um <coughs> just like I'm sorry. Yes. Today communication is faster, but do you think that it is more meaningful as before? Why? Sorry for that. Um, it's, yeah, today is faster. The communication the community today is faster than before because um, before it's we we are used we are using just um, Telegram like that and also the uh, phone smell like that and the messages. But now we have a lot of communications like cell phones, computers, and especially. The more powerful for our communication is internet that is our use every day and all <coughs> in this world that we use internet that is this uh, number one communication in this um, generation. Okay. Thank you, candidate number two. That's uh, fighting spirit. Okay, let's move on to candidate number three. Okay. 
something and sometimes it's not really accurate but nowadays just write on the Google the meaning of this immediately it gives you the accurate answers of your questions so that's why I said that the information is not easy to listen because of this technology technology that helps us to make it more easy and make it more uh, shall we say it, it it shortcuts your your hardship to find the answers of all your questions regarding on what we are going to know in our society. Thank you and good afternoon. Okay, the last but not the least, Mr. Abu Rahman Abing, Mr. Tatilanti 2019. Okay, pick up your one question. Okay, Abdul Rahman, right? Okay, so. Okay. Okay, your question. Can a person without computer skills survive in this modern age? Should I change it now? How? I repeat. Can a person without computer skills survive in this modern age? How? No, because... Um, because of this, without of this high technology, uh, our uh, sorry, <laughs> okay, okay. Can, you it, can a person without computer skills survive in this modern age? How? Actually, yes. Uh, People nowadays can survive even without a computer or without uh, advanced technology because uh, based on my grandparents, people we live without this technology. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number five. Okay, so those are our men and women category for the elimination round Q&A portion. 